Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is about sculpting such a muffin cap cup. Okay, <laughs> so something here like this here, or yeah, this one. So okay. So I start from the beginning. So I select everything and delete it. And I think post-processing I don't need also. Okay. So. So we need a primitive here. So add primitive. And I use the tu tube tool or the tube. And I activate the wireframe. And for this, use the grid function here. And here is the snapping option. So let's snap it. And so maybe like, yeah, maybe like this here. And here in the top menu, you see here the caps for this so we need only the cap for the bottom and the rest is yeah a open mesh um, here you can change the the mesh divisions so we need here for the y division only a division of 1 so that it looks like this and you see here the X division. So you need here a number or a value, maybe 60. And remember this value because you divide it by two. So you get then um, a radial uh, symmetry of 30. So this is the value you need. So maybe 60. So now it looks like this. And then you can validate this shape here. So the grid we don't need anymore. And then we need the, the mask tool. And here in the symmetry menu we don't need the X plane. And here for the Y radial, we use the value 30. This is um, the value 60. So you get 30. Okay. And now mask here one. Sorry, I need a smaller radius. So mask here only one vertex. So then half of the vertices are masked here. And with the gizmo and the scaling option here, the this green thing here, you can pull it out. So <coughs> But we have to invert the mask. So here um, invert the mask and use again the gizmo. So then it looks like this. Okay. So we can clear now the mask. And if you want to change here the radius um, you can use the cell mask and mask the bottom and then it's possible to to scale it in this direction or here um, so like you want maybe we want it like this so let's clear the whole thing. 
and so for the muffin itself so i clone this this thing here and i'm using only one of this and then here you find in the misc menu the close holes option here this one so when you press then it closes the holes and here you can change the the detail so maybe a little bit more detail and close the holes i don't know detail face group yeah i don't know why it's not more topology ah because we have not more topology okay so yeah and then it's possible to clay here the muffin sorry i go back a step and mask this part here so mask it and close the holes and then clay so So this is the muffin and so the other one so this is a form here and here it's possible in the multi-res menu you see here um, an option for linear subdivision here so use this checkbox and subdivide it one time and then deselect the linear subdivision and smooth it out so then then you get round edges here like this so we can try it uh, sorry without linear subdivision so then it gets a little bit more like this and one time linear subdivision It looks like this okay so the next thing is we can mask the whole thing and here we can give the the muffin cap cup uh, a little bit of thickness so let's extract it and this one we don't need anymore. And here the inner part. So we can voxel remesh. So I voxel remesh it. And then I add a layer and I'm using the stamp tool now and I'm choosing an alpha. Let's see where's my, so here is my muffin cracks alpha. So we don't need the radial symmetry at the moment. So I'm going to stamp here the cracks. So this is a bit much. So then I'm changing the offset. So and here this mesh we can smooth a little bit.
Ah, oh, we're on a layer. Forgot the symmetry. Okay, so, well, okay, looks like a muffin. So that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.